how action and progress make you a high achiever. Although goal-setting programming and energy sources are the fuel for achieving our potential, nothing happens until we take action. Action is the one thing that distinguishes high achievers from dreamers and hopers. Here are the important features of the action stage of goal achievement. Preparation. Time spent on preparation is an important prelude to effective action. Some of the best preparation techniques are those used by professional sports people. There are five techniques they often use to get themselves ready for a competition. 1. Preparation, of equipment, materials, and themselves. 2. Attunement, switching on to time, place and mood. 3. Warming up, practicing some simple preliminary moves. 4. Awareness, pinpointing outcomes for the task. 5. Relaxed concentration, believing that your best work is done, when you are relaxed and focused at zero point arousal. Focusing. The word, focus, comes directly from the Latin word, focus, meaning a hearth or fire. In ancient times, the fire was in the center of the house. There are two types of focus, hard focus and soft focus. Hard focus is when we concentrate on our goal with all our attention. We have tunnel vision. Nothing else matters. Soft focus is the opposite of hard focus and allows us to open up our awareness to include the whole environment connected with our goal. We are aware of all opportunities in a quiet way. We are even aware of being aware. When we direct our thinking on a job in hand to the exclusion of all distraction and diversions, we gradually find ourselves in a state of single-minded immersion. Others use other terminologies to describe this state of focusing. For social scientist Mihai C. Sixcent Mihi, it is flow, for author Richard Carlson, it is free flow thinking, for others, it is zero point arousal, concentration, absorption. We can get to this point only by letting go of thoughts of the past and worries about the future. Commitment. If faith is a mental belief that we will achieve our goals, no matter what the evidence suggests, commitment is the physical act that confirms our faith. Many people get to faith, a belief they could do it, but hesitate when it comes to commitment. They prefer to keep a way out in case it all goes wrong. When you truly commit yourself, possibly in money, materials, time, energy, and certainly yourself, you take a leap in the dark. It is only when you fully commit that you create powerful forces to help you. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always in effectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decisions, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance which no man could have dreamt would have come his way. W. H. Murray. Patience. For many people who have set themselves a goal that they passionately desire, accepting that everything takes its own proper time, is a hard lesson to learn. They want to speed things up, hurry them along, get there quickly and move on. Patience teaches us that, to do things effortlessly, we must work with the pace rather than force it. A crew of oarsmen cannot win a boat race simply by rowing faster. They need to row in time with each other and this means rowing slower. Persistence, the law of the sea. Patience, perseverance, and persistence are woven into the way that nature works. Take an apple tree. Before it sheds its leaves and fruit in autumn, the tree may produce as many as 100 apples, each with 10 seeds. That's the tree producing 1,000 more seeds of itself. Nature is saying, most seeds never grow. So, if you really want something to happen, you have to plan for failure. That way, you will be certain to succeed. It is the same with us. You might need to go to 20 job interviews to get one job. You might need to interview 40 people to find one good employee. You might need to talk to 50 people to get one sale. It is all about numbers and persistence. When the great Japanese potter Takashi Oyama was a young apprentice, he went to the acknowledged master Shoji Harmada and begged him to take him on as his pupil. Harmada eventually agreed but instead of pouring out all his wisdom and skill to the young boy, he insisted that for the first six months, Oyama should do nothing else but observe him at work. When he had accomplished this, Harmada allowed the boy to do the kneading of the raw clay but nothing else, for a whole year. At the end of 18 months, Harmada allowed the boy his first contact with the potter's wheel but they taught him nothing by means of words or explanation. In time, and when he was ready for it, Oyama learned the art of his craft. 
he became the most celebrated and successful potter in Japan. Practice. Practice may not make us perfect but it gets us to our goals. Psychologist Michael Howe of Exeter University has spent years studying the lives of great men and women. He rejects the theory that geniuses are somehow different from the rest of us, but believes that so-called geniuses become high achievers because they practice their art with patience. For example, Howe found that 73 of the 76 leading composers in the world were all well advanced in their careers before their major works were written. They achieve the most because they practice the most. Breakthrough. Somewhere on the route to your goals, after the initial blip of excitement, the disappointments of failure and the arid plateau of learning, comes breakthrough. The breakthrough point comes when more things are going right for you than wrong. You still might face obstacles and setbacks but now they don't bother you. You know how to deal with them. You no longer worry about whether you will make it. You know for sure you will. A time comes, on the path to your goal, when you reach a breakthrough point, when enough things are going right in your world. You are delighted to be doing you work, yet like everyone else you still face obstacle, but whereas before you tried to avoid them now they no longer oppress you. They are part of the grist for the mill of your life and you no longer need to fight them. They are simply situations to be dealt with, no more and no less. You have used the strategies that seemed appropriate, perhaps you have suffered, and perhaps you have tasted success. From now on, your satisfaction is not measured in terms of favorable or unfavorable circumstance, your work has become a natural part of being alive. Charles Cameron and Susanna Lusor. Happy Chance Findings. Some people believe that the reason why human beings set themselves goals is not for the sake of the goal, but for the processes they go through while getting there. This process requires us to develop a range of qualities that are nearly always far more valuable than the prize at the end. We may also stumble onto discoveries that are much more important and that we wouldn't have found if we hadn't set and pursued our original goal. These happy chance findings, also known as serendipity, are finally summed up in the prayer of the Confederate soldier. I asked God for strength that I might achieve, I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey, I asked for health that I might do greater things, I was given infirmity that I might do better things, I asked for riches that I might be happy, I was given poverty that I might be wise, I asked for power that I might have the praise of men, I was given weakness that I might feel the need for God, I asked for all things that I might enjoy life, I was given life that I might enjoy all things, I got nothing I wanted, but everything I asked for, almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered, I am among all men most richly blessed. Key points. 1. The best work is done when you are in a relaxed state at zero point arousal. 2. Worries about the future or fears from the past get in the way of concentrating on the present. 3. When we fully commit ourselves to a course of action, unexpected avenues open up to us. 4. In moving towards our goals, we should work with the pace of things rather than force them. 5. Research shows that high achievers are not quicker than the rest of us, they practice their art with patience. 6. When you reach a point of breakthrough in your work, the obstacles no longer become a burden but simply situations to deal with. For further support. At Talent and Skills Hub, you can be supported by our instructors, counselors and mentors on personal and professional development. You can book an appointment for one-to-one -one or group tutoring through our website, ts-hub.com. Reference and further reading. Ghana, E2012, Maximizing Your Potential, Be All You Can Be. Ebook Eric Garner and Bookboon.com.